recording. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. Uh, today, we're going to focus on lower body. Uh, it should be a challenging yet fun one. You're going to need heavier weights if you have them and a mat. And we'll get started with our warm up. We'll do our usual 30 on 10 off for exercises. And here they are. So we're going to start with a duck walk. So you want to get nice and low like a duck sitting into your hips. Walking forward and back, leading with your heel. That's going to wake up the glutes and the legs. Then if you want to, you can pick up a dumbbell, but you don't have to. We're going to squat down, come up to the side, picking your leg up, using your glute, pushing that leg out to the side. So squat and lift. Then we're going to come into the lunge and twist. So lunging, keeping your back knee up, twisting to the leg in front. And then if you have a couch or chair, you can hold on to something or you can just hinge forward and then pick your leg up, squeeze your bum, extend that leg behind you, focusing in on your glutes. Alrighty, we're gonna get started. So you can use a dumbbell throughout the warm up or not. Let's do it. We are on in three, two, one. Here we go. So we're gonna start with that duck walk, nice and low in the hips. Make sure that weight is shifted back into the hips, not into the knees. And you're leaving heel, toe, heel, toe. So nice and low. Remember, you can stand up and shake it out at any time. Keeping that weight shifted back. 10 seconds, wake up those glutes. Abs are engaged. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, shake it out. We're going to move into our squat and lift. So you're pushing your leg up and up to the side. You can hold the dumbbell if you like. Two, one. Here we go. We're going to squat. Lift those arms up. And the focus here is pushing that leg out to the side. So remember, the glute is a push muscle group. So you're pushing that leg up and out. Sit down nice and low into your hips. Stand up nice and tall. Push that leg out to the side. Big reach. Awesome. You've got five seconds. Push, push, push. Two, one. Awesome. Lunge and twist is next. So remember in the lunge, you keep your back knee up. Four, three, two. Here we go. Step back, pause. Keep that back knee up. Slowly twist to the leg in front. So you're focusing in on the strength in your front leg and stretching out your back leg. Really connect with the heel of that front foot. Good. Sitting low into the hips. Five, three, two, one. All right, if you have a couch, bench, or chair, you're welcome to hinge over it, hold it slightly. Otherwise, you can just stand up, hinge forward, here we go, you're going to push one leg back and then push the other leg back. So this is coming from your glute, not your lower back. So push that leg back behind you, squeezing your bum. Remember you make a fist with your bum cheek. Try to keep your back flat. Push that leg back. Next. Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, we're going to start from the top with our duck walk. So give yourself a little bit of room. Here we go, shoulders back. You're going to sit back into the hips. Here we go. Heel toe, heel toe. Remember, you can make duck sounds if you like. <laughs> Stay nice and low in those hips. Always leading with the heel, forward and back. The heel goes down first. Awesome. Remember, you can stand up and shake it out at any time if your legs are getting too tired. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Squat and lift is next. Four, three, two. Here we go. Squat down nice and low. Big reach. Push that leg up and out to the side. Using your glutes. Reach, reach, reach. And if you want to speed this up, you're welcome to do that. Likewise, if you want to pick up a dumbbell, you're welcome to do that too. Remember, it's your warm up. Listen to your body. 
you this morning. Reach. Keep that neck relaxed. Four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Lunge and twist is next. So remember, we're focusing in on that front heel. Three, two. Here you go. Sit down. Sit into that front heel, into the front hip. Push up through that front heel. That is your anchor point. Anytime we lunge, the foot in the front, especially the heel, is where we focus. Get that balance. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, we're going to wake up those glutes a little bit more. So, hinging forward, shoulders back, hinging at the hip. Here we go, push that leg back. Remember this movement comes from that bum cheek, not the lower back. So you're not swinging that leg up or arching, you're pushing that leg up, contracting the glutes. Your body is nice and long, from your head to your tailbone. Four, three, two, one, all right, we've got one more round. So let's see if we can pick it up a little bit more. Hold the dumbbell, we need to speed things up. Three, two, duck walk, here we go. Heel toe, heel toe, wake up those legs. Always leading with the heel, always shifting that weight back into the hips, not into the knees. You got it, chest lifted. Nice work, nice work. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Squat and lift is next. So big reach, pushing that leg up, up to the side, using your glutes. Three, two, here we go. Good. Reach up, push the foot into the floor. Push that foot out to the side. Use both legs. Reach, reach, reach. Good work. Focus in on those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Lunge and twist is next. This time I want you to focus on stretching on that back leg. Three, two, one. So come into that lunge. Feel the stretch in the back leg. The rest of your lunge is still on point. Just take a little bit of time to focus in on stretching on that quad, that hip flexor. Nice work. Yeah, if we're spending a bit more time at home, especially if we're teaching online or working online at home, those hip flexors are going to be especially tight. So you really want to focus on stretching them out, strengthening the back. And rest. Glute lift is last but not least. Here we go. Hinge forward. Push that leg back. The torso is long. Shoulders are back. Push that leg up. Good work. You got it. We're almost there. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Grab a quick drink. So today, ladies, we are going to do supersets, which means we're doing two exercises back to back. And we're going to do those pair of exercises three times before we move on to the next exercises. So we're going to do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Your goal is to work as hard as you can during that 45 seconds. So Without further ado, I'm going to show you what's up. So our first exercise, you're going to have one heavy dumbbell up high. We're going to do alternating side lunge to squat. So it looks like this. Side lunge, squat. Side lunge, squat. So in that side lunge, you're pushing into the heel. And then in the squat, you're sitting back into the hips. 
Then our second exercise is our three, two, one squat. So you've got your weights nice and high. You're gonna sit back into your hips. Three, two, one. You're gonna pulse. Three, two, one, and then come up. All right, so lots of time under tension. So pick up your heavy dumbbells, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have one dumbbell or two nice and high. We're gonna do those side lunges, so nice and wide, sitting into the hip, pushing up through the heel. In four, three, two, here we go. Big step, sit into the heel, push yourself up, squat. Big step to the other side, squat. So find a rhythm here. The most important thing here, ladies, is that you're sitting into your hip, pushing up through the heel as you lunge out to the side, not into your knee. So take as big of a step as you can. Push into the heel, come back to standing, and into a squat. So this should be nice and light in the movement, nice and fluid. Good, five, four, three, two, one. All right, you're gonna pick up both your dumbbells if you don't have them both in your hands. Bring them out to your shoulders. You're also welcome to hold them at your side. We're gonna sit down for three, pulse for three, and come back up. Here we go, down, two, three, push, 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 come up. So in those pulses, two, three, you're pushing into the heels, you're squeezing your bum cheeks together, you're not pulsing in the knees. Down, two, three, pulse, 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 come up. So find a rhythm, two, three, pulse, 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 come up, beautiful. Keep that weight shifted back into the hips, keep the tension in the glutes. Two, three, pulse, 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 and rest. All right, we're gonna do that all again. So nice and flowy, side lunge to squat. And then that three, two, one, squat. Ready? Here we go. Two, one, let's do it. Side lunge, squat. So remember, you find your own rhythm, your own pace here. All I ask is that you work hard during the 45 second interval. And you focus in on your hips and your heels. So always shifting that weight back. Shoulders are back. Abs are engaged. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Woo. All right, hopefully your heart rate's coming up. We're gonna move into that squat. Weights up. Three, two, here we go. Down, two, three. Pulse, 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 come up. Remember, you can always bring your weights to your side. And keep the tension in the hips. So sit down into the hips. Push into the hips, push into the heels. Stay out of your knees. We want to keep the tension in the legs and the glutes the whole workout. So always working. Always focusing in on the muscles that are working. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, one more round. So we're gonna hold on to just one dumbbell. <laughs> side to side. Here we go. Two, go for it. Squat and lunge. Sit low into that hip. Push up through the heel. Remember the knees are not helping here. Check your abs. Two, 
20 seconds, you got it. Light and flowy, find that rhythm. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, slow, posy squats. Let's do it. Get those weights. Either up high or at your side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Come up. So find a rhythm. Shift the weight back into the hips. Come up strong. Sit back slow. Create that tension. Hold on to the tension. And then use that tension to propel yourself up. Good work. Slow, slow, slow into those hips. One more. Beautiful. All right. Take a quick drink. Nice slow burn. We're gonna move on to our next pair of exercises. So the next one is a single leg Romanian deadlift with an alternate legs. And then we're gonna do a hike swing. So the Romanian deadlift looks like this. You're gonna hinge forward, stand up, switch legs. If you want to, you can tap one leg back behind you for balance, or you can hold on to something. Then our next exercise is a hike swing. So you've done this one before, a long time ago. You're gonna sit the weight out in front of you, and then swing it up, and then tap it down, and swing it up. Tap it down, swing it up. So it's like a double action swing. You'll find the rhythm there. So grab those weights, come on up. We're gonna start with those alternating RDLs. If it's not working for you, you can simply stand on both legs and RDL there. Here we go. So in your RDL, your legs are straight, your back is flat. You can have one leg behind you or one leg sticking straight out behind you. You're alternating legs. So I'm doing what's called a B stance. I have my other leg here for balance because my balance is really bad. And I'm not fully capable of standing on one leg and doing an RDL properly. So I have my toe down of the other leg, but I'm still focusing 99% of my work on the straight leg. All right, pick up that heavy weight. We're gonna do a hike swing. So you brought it in your hands, nice and long, like so. We're gonna start with it out on the floor in front of you, and then we're gonna swing it up, and then we're gonna sit low and tap it down in front of you. So find a rhythm. You pop up in that swing, then you sit low, touch that weight to the floor in that squat position. Good. Nice work. Find a rhythm. Find that explosion up through the legs. You got it. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, here go those legs back up. We move back to our RDLs. So remember, you've got lots of options here, ladies. One leg, B stance, or both legs. Here we go. Either way, your form is the same. So your back is flat, your chest is lifted, you're hinging at the hip. Please do not aim for the floor. Go to where you feel your hamstrings tighten and where your body's at a right angle. A lot of people, when they try and touch the floor, 
Their back rounds. We don't want that. Check your posture. Try to keep those dumbbells close to your body. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, we're going to come into that pipe swing. So sitting nice and low. Bring that weight out in front of you, touch it to the floor. Swing it up. Hike it down. Here we go. Find that rhythm, find that intensity. So it's like two movements, a little squat, and then a pop up, a swing. Remember, ladies, it's up to you to work as hard as you can during the 45 seconds that you are on. Don't just go through the motions. Challenge yourself. Nice work, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Last time through, you're gonna pick up both your weights. Romanian deadlift, legs are straight. So one leg at a time. Three, two, here we go. I'm gonna fit, flail through this. So focusing in on the back of the leg you're standing on, that leg is straight, you're hinging at the hip, it's not a race, if you need to hold on to something please do, I would rather you have good balance and good form holding on to something than twist your way and flail your way through this. Three, two, one. All right, team, let's do it. We got one more set of those pipe swings. Let's make it count. Four, three, two, starting with that weight on the ground. Here we go. Sit it down. Pop it up. Good work, good work. <sighs> Sit low, pop it up. We're halfway through the interval. Let's get that heart rate up. Ten seconds. Push yourself. You can do it. Three. Two, one, nice. Good work, grab a quick drink. We're moving on to the next sequence. Good work so far, everyone. All right, so our next sequence, we've got a burpee variation and then a curtsy. So, this is a burpee without a push-up. So we're gonna pop down, out, in, into a squat. Yes? Then the second exercise, you're gonna pick up your weights and we're gonna curtsy lunge, bicep curl. If the bicep curl is available to you, so if you've got really heavy weights, don't worry about the curl, just curtsy. All right. So we're gonna get ready for that burpee into a squat. Sorry, Linda, I know you love the burpees. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Hands down, out, in, into a squat. So when you sit into that squat, make sure your feet are nice and firm into the ground. You're shifting your weight back into the hips, and you're looking up. So you're actually sitting upright into those hips. <laughs> Put the weight back into the heels and into the hips. Your legs are nice and wide. Good work. Two, one, nice work, okay. Woo. Pick those weights up, curtsy. 
Curl. Remember, if you've got really heavy dumbbells, you don't have to do the bicep curl. You can just do the curtsy instead. Three, two. So we're going to step back, bend both knees, sit into the front hip, push up through the front heel. So if you want to, if the weights allow for it, you can curl those weights up as you step back. Sit into that front heel, push up through it. Pulling as wide and as deep as you can. Listen to your knees. So the weights I have are not really conducive to a bicep curl, so I'm not doing that. But if you have lighter dumbbells that allow you to curl simultaneously, please do. Two, one. Woo. Okay, back to those burpee squats. Whew. Ready? Three, two, here we go. Remember to sit back, pop those legs out and in. Sit into the hips, into that low squat. If you cannot do both legs at the same time, you can step, 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 squat. You got it. Almost there, 15 seconds. Push yourself a little bit extra. So knees 
knees and toes are wide. Again, those heavy weights, standing up with them, slowly lowering. Then we are going to bring our weights up to our shoulders. We're going to step back with one leg and push up with the opposite shoulder. Yes? All right. So, some upper and lower body combo. Let's come into that sumo position. Come on up. Knees and toes are wide. Get those heavy legs up. Here we go. Bend those knees, sit down into the hips. Stand up tall. Remember the standing up is the action. And also remember the heavier your weight, the slower it'll move. So that means if you have lighter weights, you're moving more quickly. Challenge yourself. You got it. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, you're gonna bring those weights up to your shoulders. And you're gonna step back with one leg and push up with the opposite shoulder. So it doesn't matter, just figure out a rhythm that works for you. Here we go. So as you step back, you push that weight up. You should feel that in the front hip. After engaged, sit into the hip, push up through the heel of the front leg. Remember the front leg always does the work in the lunge. And you're pushing up as you step back, so your core is going to work over time. Nice work. Four, three, two, one, nice, awesome. Sumos, get into that position. Heavy weights, knees and toes wide. Three, two, here we go. Remember the standing up is the action. Pushing into the feet, standing up into the glutes. Nice work. Push into the feet, stand up tall. Squeeze the bum at the top. Bend your knees, sit down, stand up tall. You can do it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good little breather. We're gonna get ready for that lunge and press. Woo. All right, team. You got it. Pick up those weights. Here we go. As you push back, you push up. Check your abs. Slow and control. Find a sturdy, strong position. Relax your neck. Ooh, check in with that front foot. What's it doing? Good, nice strong lunge back. Front leg. Three, two, one. Excellent. One more time. This will be our last standing sequence. Then we'll come to the floor and we've got our conditioning. Ready? Sumos, two, here we go. Last chance of this exercise. Focus in on those feet, standing all the way up into the glutes. Nice and quick, with good form.
You got it. You can do it. Push, push, push. Quick and powerful. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right, lunge and press. We're almost there. Then we're gonna come down to the floor for some challenging movements there. Ready? Three, two, here we go. So as you step back, I gotta find my rhythm again. I got confused. So you're pushing up with the opposite arm of the leg that goes back. That's how it works. Reach, relax the neck. Sit into that front hip. Push up through the front heel. Reach, reach, reach. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. All right, so for the next two exercises, you're going to need your mat. Turn it back down to the floor. Change it up a bit, still very challenging. And then we'll come back up for conditioning. Okay, so the first exercise, you have two options. Option one, you're going to be in a bear crawl position. So your knees are up off the floor, or you can be in a plank. And then what you're going to do is squeeze your bum and lift. So if you're in the bear crawl, your leg is bent. If you're in the plank, your leg is straight. Then we're going to flip over and we're going to do this hamstring walkout. So you're going to come into that bridge. Feet are on the floor, heels only. Walk the heels in and out, keeping the bum up. All right? So come on over. You can decide whether you want to be in a bear crawl position or a plank. Here we go. We're on in five. Three, two, here we go. So this one is core and glutes. Whether you're in the bear crawl or the plank, it's a doozy. Arms are strong, back is flat, belly button's pulled in. Slow and controlled. Remember, you're pushing the leg up with the glute. You're making a fist with your bum cheek. Five. You can do it. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Flip over onto your back. So the super important thing here is the only part of your foot that's on the floor is your heel. Here we go. Squeeze your bum. Lift it up, hold it up the whole time. Walk the heels out. Try and walk your legs to straight, but keeping your bum up in the air at least an inch or two. Walk out with the heels. The toes are up the whole time. Good, keep the belly button engaged. Walk the feet out, legs are straight, keep the bum up. Keep that bum up the whole time. Woo. 10 seconds. Awesome. Rest. Flip back over. So once again, you have the option of being in a bear crawl or the plank. And the plank can be from your elbows or your hands. You decide I'm going to be in a plank this time. Here we go. Remember, if you're in the plank, your legs are straight as you lift them up. If you're in the bear crawl, legs are bent. Push that leg up from the glute. You got it. 20 seconds. Lengthen on the top. 
Drop your head, keep your bum down. So we're not coming up as a triangle. If you're in that plank, if you're in the bare crawl position, your back is flat. Five, four, three, two. Beautiful. All right, flip back over. Good work, good work. All right, squeeze your bum. Let's into a bridge. Remember, you're trying to keep that bum up the whole time. Walk those heels out. Keep the bum up, even when those legs are straight. Feel that in the hamstrings. You got it. Keep it up, keep it up. 15 seconds. You can do it. Keep that butt up. Four, three, two, aye, aye, aye. All right, one more round, one more round. Fair crawl or plank. Hamstring walk ups, and then we got our conditioning. Conditioning's gonna be a fun one today. Ready? Here we go. Come on up. Plank or bear crawl. Blue lift. Remember, the only thing that's moving is your glute. So you're squeezing your bum, pushing that leg up into the air. Not arching the back. Or is engaged? Head and neck are neutral. You can do it. Ten seconds. Three, two. All right, last exercise for strength. You're gonna flip over onto your back. Bridge walk out. Four, three, two, squeeze that bottom and lift it up. Walk those heels out. Keep that bottom up. Remember the heels are in contact with the floor, nothing else. Keep that bottom up. Even when my legs are fully extended, there's still a couple inches between my bottom and the floor. That whole back of my body is working hard to hold me up. Take lots of little steps. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All righty. So conditioning today, ladies, we're gonna do three mini AMRAPs. The first AMRAP is five minutes long. We're going to do 10 reps of everything. So that means about five minutes to get in as many rounds as you can. So the first round, we're going to do a pick up your heavy dumbbells, 10 push press. Then we're going to do 10 high knees. So 10 for like one, two, three, four. Then we're going to do 10 kick throughs total. So that's that break dancing move. So 10 total. And then while you're down on the ground, 10 V6. So we're going to do as many rounds of that as we can. 10 push press, 10 high knees per leg, 10 kick throughs, 10 V6. Yes? All right. So you're going to need your mat for this. You're going to need heavy dumbbells. We're going to start. In five, four, three, two, here we go. 10 push press. So remember in conditioning, you work as hard and as fast as you can. 10 high knees per leg. Ten kick throughs total. If you 
you cannot do the kick throughs and you've given it a good college try, you're going to do cross body planks instead. So cross body knee. 10 kick throughs, 10 knee sits. Good work, good work. And when you're all done, start from the top. 10 push press. 10 high knees, 10 kick throughs, 10 B sets. Keep moving. Down, elbow to knee, expose the movement up. Eight on one side. 
knee on the other. Then you're going to come down to the ground. You're going to bring your hands nice and close. Tricep push up to rock it. If you want, you can do these from the toe. And it would be tricep to downward dog. Then, spring for sit up. That was like a bicycle B sit. I'm going to make eight for her eight total, four per leg. Ready? So come on up. We're going to do our single arm thruster, eight on one side, eight on the other. Eight tricep rocket push ups, eight sprinter sit ups total. Come on up. We're on in five, four, three, two, here we go. Eight of everything, four minutes. Explode up through those legs. <laughs> nice and quick, nice and strong. You can do it. Get nice and low, use those legs. So this is not a push press, it's a full squat, it's a thruster. Then eight, try some rocket push ups. So elbows are close to your body, hinge back, rock it forward. You can be on your knees or your toes. And then eight sprinter sit ups total. So it's a bicycle B sit. Eight. Total, four per side. And then start from the top. Eight thrusters per arm. Eight tricep push ups. Eight sprinter sit ups. You got it, you got it. Move quickly and with purpose. The purpose is to get stronger. The purpose is to improve your cardio. The purpose is to feel good about yourself for getting it done. Keep going, keep going. You got it. eight thrusters per arm, eight tricep rocket push ups, eight sprinter sit ups total. Remember those push ups? Can be from the knee or the toe.
clean and press looks like this. The weight's at your shin, pop it up, pop it up. So six on one side, six on the other. Then hands nice and wide, wide within your mat. We're gonna do six push-ups, either from the knee or the toe. All right, that's it. Six clean and press per side, six push-ups, three minutes, and then we're done. We got this, ladies. We got this. We are champions. Let's do it. We are on in three, two, one. Last three minutes of work. Here we go. Six clean and press. You got it. Six on one side, six on the other. Then six nice wide push ups from the toe if you can. Do a first couple on the toe for sure. Default up. Always default up. Nice and wide. Chest to the floor. Drive on the toe. Good work. Six clean and press, six push ups. You can do it. We're almost there, ladies. We're almost there. Finish it up. You can do it. Six clean and press per side. Six push ups. Nice and wide. From the toe. Let me know what you thought of the workout. You can send me feedback or post it on Facebook. We're always looking for feedback. That was great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Good to see you both. Thank we'll you. See you Thursday. Have an awesome day.